All right, we're gonna start in our seat. So sit yourself back, get super comfortable, just scoot your butt back, let your back rest against the back of your chair. And then if it feels good, just let your eyes close down. Let your hands and your feet get soft and heavy. And then just take a couple of settling in breaths, just allowing your body to settle into your chair. And then right away, as you start to settle in, give your fingers and your toes just a little wiggle, just kind of wiggle them around, twinkle your fingers, twinkle your toes and mush the bottoms of your feet. <clears throat> and then once you feel like you've just got a sense of how your hands and feet are feeling this morning, let them soften again, soften your feet, soften your hands. And then with that softer sense of awareness down at your feet, without feeling like your feet are pressing into the earth, but just resting on the earth. Just notice that sense of solidness underneath your feet. And then see if you can allow that sense of softening or resting on the earth, not pressing down onto the earth to come up into your calves and your shins. So just allow the muscles of your calves and your shins to soften. Allow your knees to be soft. Let your thighs be soft and let them just rest on the chair rather than pressing down deep into your chair, just allow the thighs to soften and rest. And then with that sense of softness, leaning back into your chair, but rather than pressing your back into your chair, just allow your torso to be soft and resting against the back of your chair. And then see if you can invite a sense of softness into your shoulders, a softness into your arms and your hands. A softness in your jaw and your cheekbones. And a softness in the space between your eyes. And then with that soft, gentle awareness of your physical body, Start to tune into your breath and just notice the natural rhythm of your breath, watching your inhale and watching your exhale. And then you're gonna take one hand <clears throat> and just reach behind your head. And you're just gonna kind of wiggle around with your fingers to find the space where your skull and your neck meet. So we wanna kind of find that the line of the spine right up to the ridge of the skull. And then once you feel like you found that ridge of the skull, that nice prominent bony structure, just press your fingers right into that little indentation, right into that space. Don't hurt yourself, but just kind of feel that little indention. <laughs> and then we're going to take our hand away, but we want to still get a sense of awareness into that space. And then we're going to breathe into that space. So if you can get a sense of where that ridge of your skull is, and then you're going to draw a line about an inch or so into that skull bone. So we want to kind of think about reaching into the brain or reaching deeper into that bony structure 
into the softer structure within. And then once you feel like you've got a sense of that softer structure within, we're gonna pay attention to the breath there. And we wanna imagine that as you breathe in, there's a subtle lifting up sensation. And then as you exhale, there's just a softening down sensation. So if you can feel that sense of awareness there, inhale and allow a lifting or floating up sensation. And then an exhale and softening down. And then just see if you can take a few minutes here, floating with the breath, inhale, finding that gentle lifting up sensation and exhale, softening down. Take one or two more breaths here, just tuning into that space if you can, getting that sense of floating up and floating down. And then before we move away from this place, take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, just sitting up a little taller. So just lifting your back away from the back of your seat, but then pulling the ribs back. So rather than leaning the chest forward and leaning the torso forward, we're just lifting upward, back is lifted against, lifted away from the back of your chair and then ribs are pulled back. So we feel a little bit of a firmness in our center and then see if you can bring your awareness back to that occipital ridge, that little bony structure at the back of your skull. And then inhale, find that floating up sensation again. And then exhale with that floating down. Inhale and let the breath float up. Exhale and soften down. And just take one more breath there. And then taking that idea of that floating up breath as you inhale, let your shoulders lift up to your ears. And as you exhale, let your shoulders soften down. And if you need to open your eyes, go ahead. But if you can keep them closed, just keep them closed. So you can pay attention to sensation. Inhale, let the shoulders lift up to your ears. Exhale, shoulders soften down. Inhale, shoulders lift. And exhale, soften down. Nice, and then keep the shoulders soft and down, flip your palms so palms are open facing the ceiling. As you inhale, you're gonna roll the fingers into a little fist and then exhale, roll the fingers out and stretch the hands wide. Inhale, roll the fingers in, make a little fist and squeeze. Exhale, roll the fingers out and stretch your fingers wide. One more, just like that. Inhale, roll the fingers in and squeeze. Exhale, roll the fingers out and stretch. And then soften your hands just a little bit and give them a little gentle shake, just to bring a little, little energy, a little life down to the fingers and down to the hands and down to the wrists. Nice. And then once you feel like your hands are alive and awake, let them float back down, resting gently on your thighs. <clears throat> and we're gonna bring awareness down to the feet. So we're just gonna start by wiggling the toes, give them a little smush around, move your ankle joints just a little bit, just any organic movement here, just to feel like your feet are waking up. And then maybe pick up your left foot and give it a good gentle shake so you might feel a little bit of a lift of the back of the thigh away from your chair so that you can find that nice, generous shaking of the foot, shaking of the ankle. And then once you feel like that foot is good and shaken out, set it down and take it to the other side. Pick up your other foot, give it a good gentle shake. Nice. And then once you feel like that foot is good and shaken out, go ahead and set it down. Now we're going to scooch our butt forward in our seat so our feet are firmly planted on the ground. The seat is nice and solid. And then once you found your way here, inhale, lift your chin up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest. See if you can keep your shoulders down and back. Inhale and lift your chin up. Exhale and tuck your chin down. And one more just like that. Inhale to lift your chin up. 
Exhale to tuck your chin down. Bring your head to a neutral position. Left hand's gonna find the side of the chair. Right hand's gonna reach up, taking three gentle side bends. We wanna keep our butt nice and firmly planted on the ground. Lean over just a little bit and then bring it back up. Lean over just a little bit and bring it back up. And this time we're gonna lean over, stay there just a little bit longer. Take a nice deep breath. Notice the breath in the side body and the ribs. Nice, and then float that hand down. And we're gonna take it to the other side. Arm extends up alongside the ear. Lean over just a little bit and bring it back up. Lean over just a little bit and bring it back up. And then lean over just a little bit, but stay there. Take a nice big inhale, noticing the ribs, noticing the side body. Nice, and then when you're ready, lift it all back up and right into a seated twist. Right hand's gonna find the left knee, left hand to the back of the chair. Think about getting nice and tall on your inhale. And then release and take your twist to the other side. Catch your knee, catch the back of your chair. Inhale and get nice and tall. Beautiful, and then release, and we're gonna take that twist back to the other side. So find the knee, find the back of the chair, take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, soften your twist just a little bit. So maybe you rotate only slightly. So maybe your heart is pointing towards your knees or slightly away from the knee. And then with that lesser twisted maneuver, we're gonna lift in, into a cat and cow breath. So inhale, lift your chest and chin. Exhale, pull the ribs back, pull the abdominal muscles in. Inhale, lift your chest and chin. Exhale and round the ribs back. Nice, one more breath. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to round. Inhale to neutral, take your twist to the other side. Catch the knee, catch the back of your chair. Inhale, nice and tall. And then as you exhale, soften your twist just a little bit so heart is angled towards the knee and then back into that cat cow sensation. Inhale, lifting your chest, lifting your chin. Exhale to round your back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more breath. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Nice. And then bring it to neutral. Unwind. We're going to catch hold of our left leg. So we're just going to make a little basket weave. Pick the leg up. Draw it in circles. Go in one direction. And then draw it in circles. Go the other way. Beautiful, and then hug that knee up to the chest. Just give it a little squeeze, maybe tuck your chin down to your chest or round your back, upper back body. So you just feel a little space in the back of the shoulders. Take a nice big breath. Wonderful, and then release that down and take it to the other side. Catch hold of that leg, pick it up, let your arms do most of the work. Draw that knee in circles, go in one direction. And then draw your knee in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then bring it in for a little squeeze. Hug that knee up towards the chest if it feels good. Round the upper back body, tuck your nose towards your knee. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, set that foot down. And now we're gonna scooch our butt way towards the front edge of the chair, just so that we feel like we have plenty of space to extend the legs long. And then into what I like to call a seated ragdoll. So step your feet super wide, shoulder distance, maybe even wider. Make plenty of space for the belly and the chest, and then lift your heart forward. Lean forward just as far as you like. Go as far as feels good. If it feels good enough to go all the way down, hands touch the toes or the floor, go ahead and do so. And then if it feels good to soften the back of the body, allow a little softness in the back of the neck. Maybe tune back into that occipital ridge, that nice ridge of your skull bone, and then see if you can tune back into the breath there. Take a nice gentle inhale and soften on your exhale. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly, gently, mindfully start to bring yourself back up. Take your time <clears throat> and then step your feet in. So feet are about hip width distance apart, but is nice and solid on the chair. 
feet are nice and solid on the ground, let your hands come down at your sides into your seated mountain pose. And then just for a moment, tune in down to your fingers and your fingertips. So if you can bring that energy and life back down to the fingertips, just let them brighten up a little bit. And then when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. As your hands come together, just pay attention to that sensation as the palms meet that little bit of warmth between your palms as you bring it to your heart. Hands down at your sides. Nice, one more just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Notice the space between your palms. Bring that warmth right to your heart. Hands down at your sides. Beautiful. And we're going to go a little further with that. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, and we're going to fold forward. We're just going to dive the heart forward. Hands come down towards the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold. Hands are going to glide to the shins. A little lift in the spine. Beautiful. Exhale, soften down. Pull your abdominal muscles in. Roll up through the spine. Nice and slow. Roll your shoulders all the way up to your ears, around, down, and back. And then bring that energy back down into your fingers. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold it all down. Inhale to half forward fold, hands glide to the shins. Nice. Exhale, soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, round and roll up. Pull the ribs back as you draw the shoulders up to the ears, roll them around, down and back. Energy back down into the fingers. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold it all down. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, round and roll up. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down and back. And now we're gonna take the left arm, bring it across the body, grab the back of the arm, drop the shoulder down away from the ear. And then once you found your way there, just take a couple of gentle nods of the head up and down. Nice, and then when you're ready, bring your head to a neutral position, release that arm. Give it a little shake, bring that energy back down to the fingers and then take it to the other side. Bring the arm across the body, grab the back of the arm, drop the shoulder down away from the ear and then back to that nodding of the head up and down if that felt good. Awesome, one more nod of your head up and down. And then bring your head to neutral, release the back of your arm, give that hand a little shake just to bring that energy back down to the fingers and then back to your mountain pose. Press into your feet now, feel like that sensation is anchoring you down into the earth, legs come alive just a little bit and then bring that energy into your fingertips as well. Beautiful, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, fold everything down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right hand finds the left shin, left hand reaches up to the sky. Release that hand down. We're gonna slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, give it a little squeeze, and then release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down. Left hand finds the right shin, right hand reaches up to the sky. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, give it a little squeeze. Beautiful, and then release back to your mountain pose. Now we're gonna toe heel the feet out. So find a little bit of movement through the ankles and then step it out just as wide as feels good. We're gonna take the hands right to the inside of the knees with a gentle press. So we're not gonna crank against ourselves or injure ourselves, but just a little active press to bring the knees anchoring out towards the pinky toes. And once you feel like you've found that anchor point, release your hands from your knees, but keep the inner thighs nice and active and see if that feels like a good position. If you need to, always step your knees in a little bit closer. Now we're gonna take the left elbow down to the knee, keep the ribs lifting away from the thigh, extend your arm up, reaching through the fingertips, finding that nice energy out through the fingertips, pull your thumb back, gaze up to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, lift it up and take it to the other side. Elbow's gonna find the knee, ribs are lifting away from the thigh, arm extends up. And then we reach that energy out through the fingertips, feet are still nice and anchored, knees are drawing back, so inner thighs are active. Pull the thumb back, gaze up to the sky, take a nice big breath. Awesome, lift it all back up. Hands are gonna find those insides of the knees again. And now we're gonna find this lifting up and over sensation. We're gonna lean the heart forward slightly and then taking shoulder to knee. So we're gonna take the right shoulder towards the left knee, 
Inhale, bring it all to center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. You can push the knee out gently. If that feels like a good sensation, just make sure you stay safe in your knee and your hip. Exhale, twist it over to the other side. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center. And then from here, we're gonna take it into a nice wide leg forward fold. So we're gonna reach our hands down towards the ground. See if you can find the earth and then plant the palms, soften the upper back body. Knees are still actively drawing back. So see if you can find that inner thigh sensation again. Soften the back of your neck, take a nice big breath. Nice, and then walk your hands slowly up towards your knees. Lift yourself up with control. Toe heel your feet back in. <clears throat> and then find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up, hands are gonna meet at the center. Lift your chest and your chin as you look up. Exhale and fold it all down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're gonna pick up the left knee, bring it all the way up, grab the knee, grab the heel, and then rock the leg a little bit like a baby. Awesome, and then we're gonna place that leg across the thigh if that's available. So into a little bit of a figure four position. And then we're gonna work on our feet just a little bit. So we're gonna start by just catching hold of the toes, let your ankle joint be nice and soft and then just twirl your foot in circles, go in one direction. And then twirl your foot in circles, go the other way. Great, and then we're gonna come back to those circles, but this time we're gonna take our other hand and put a little pinch in the ankle joint. So just a tiny little squeeze. So think index finger and thumb, a little squeeze on the ankle joint, just to kind of tune in. Notice that movement that's happening underneath your finger and your thumb. And then turn your circles the other way. Awesome. And then let that all come to stillness. And then we're going to do our little toe separator. So we're going to take the hand that was working the foot and then start to put the fingers in between the toes. So take the time to do that. Sometimes the toes get a little cranky or the foot gets a little, whoo, feels a little sensational. So give a little second to let everything kind of find its way. And then once you've got your fingers between your toes, take a breath. Let the bottom of your foot soften, let the top of your foot soften, and then back to that hand holding onto the ankle, that light little pinch, index finger and thumb or middle finger and thumb, whichever feels good. And then just take that foot, circle it in one direction with that little pinch of your finger. Nice, and then take the circles and go the other way. Cool, and then let those circles come to stillness. The hand that's got the fingers between the toes, you're gonna take that thumb and massage around just around the bottom of the foot. So work through the ball of the foot and maybe the instep. Take one more moment here. And then when you feel ready, release your fingers from between your toes, take your time. And then we're just gonna gently press into the tops of the foot. Toes are pressing down. So we find a little stretch through the top of the foot and the ankle. Take a nice big breath. Awesome. And then we're gonna just do our last little maneuver of wringing out our foot like a dish towel. So you're gonna make this little wringing out. You're gonna take little twists and turns, twisting up and down the foot, working down towards the toes and then up towards the ankle, just twisting in a way that feels good. So make sure it feels safe. Don't, don't hurt yourself. And then once you feel like you've got your foot wrung out, take a second to so just smooth it out, soothe it out, make sure it all feels good. And then we're gonna come into our little figure four stretch. So gently press the knee open, make sure everything is feeling good. If you need to readjust or place the foot across your ankle or across a block, take a moment to do so. Then if all is feeling good, you're just gonna lean yourself forward. Think about hinging from the waist, leaning your chest forward and then softening into that fold. Soften the back side of your body, soften the back of your neck, take a nice deep breath.
Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly, gently, mindfully come up. Help that leg come up. We're going to extend the leg nice and long, a little flex in the foot, a little stretch through the back of the leg. Take a nice big breath. Reach your arm up. Think about pulling the belly up and over and then reach toward your foot. Does not matter if you touch your foot. And if you like, you can bend the knee so it feels a little bit better to the back of the leg. And just make sure it feels like a safe and comfortable stretch. And then soften just for a moment here. Soften through the back of your body. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully bring it all back in, finding your mountain pose again. Feet firm on the ground, arms out at your sides. Inhale, arms up, hands meet, chest lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold it all down. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're going to pull that left knee up. Grab the knee, grab the heel, rock, or I should say the right knee. So we're gonna rock that leg like a baby, take your time, make sure everything feels good. And then if it all feels good, bring it across the thigh, hang out there for just a second. Nice, and then we're gonna grab hold the toes, draw that ankle in circles, go in one direction. And then draw the ankle in circles, go the other way. Cool, and then we're gonna let that come to stillness for a second, taking your other hand, putting a little pinch in the ankle joint just to tune in and notice. And then once you feel like you've got a good pinch and you can tune in, take that ankle, draw it in circles in one direction. And then draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then when you feel good and ready, mush it all around just to make sure everything feels good. And now we're gonna take that hand that was working the toes and then start to put our little toes separator. So we're gonna put our fingers in between the toes, take your time to get there and give your foot a second to just accept this new position that it's in. And then once you feel like the foot is soft and everything is going good, now take the foot, draw it back in circles, go in one direction and then draw your circles the other way. Awesome, and then let that come to stillness for a second. Back to the little pinch, so thumb and index finger, thumb and middle finger, whichever grab felt good. Put that little pinch on your ankle, draw your circles in one direction. And then draw your circles the other way. Awesome, and then let that come to stillness. The hand that's working those toes, we're gonna to take that thumb and just mush around the bottom of the foot. So around the ball of the foot and the instep, just give a little massage. Cool, and then when you feel ready, release your fingers from your toes touching the tops of the toes, gently pressing down. So we find a little stretch through the top of the foot and the ankle, take a nice big breath. Awesome, and let that go. And then we're gonna come into our little dish towel ring out. So we're just gonna start to twist and turn up and down the foot, working towards the toes and up towards the ankle joint, putting as much twist and turn as feels good, but making sure you're staying safe within your own body. Beautiful, and then once you feel like you've wrung that foot out appropriately, smooth it out just a little bit, and then make sure it feels good to stay in this figure four position. If you need to readjust, take the time to do so. And then when you're ready into a figure four fold. So lift your heart forward, lean forward just as much as you like, and then allow that softness to come in. Soften through the back of your body, soften through the back of your neck. Take one more breath. Hmm. 
And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully lift yourself up. We're going to release that leg, send it out nice and long, a little flex in the foot. Think about lifting up and over. So we're going to reach the hand up, pull the belly up and over, and then extend nice and long, reaching towards the toe. It does not matter if you touch the toe, and you can always invite a bend into the knee to make sure the back of the leg feels comfortable. And then once you've found a good position for your body, take a moment and take a breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully bring it all back up, step that foot in, and then just to finish with those feet, we're gonna stomp them out. So we're gonna start with a little tap to the toes, a little tap to the balls of the feet, a little tap to the blade edges of the feet, and a little tap to the heels, and then just any which way but loose, just tap it all around, stimulate the bottoms of the feet. And then once you feel like you found a little energy down at those feet, let everything soften, let your eyes close down, take a nice big breath and just notice your feet. Nice, and then with your feet nice and solid on the ground, eyes closed or open totally up to you. We're just gonna come back to the hands, give the hands a nice little gentle shake, bringing that blood and energy back down to the fingers and the wrists. Nice, and then once you feel like your hands are good and energized, let them float back to your thighs, drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. And when you feel ready, lift your head to center and then take it over to the other side. Dropping your right ear over to your right shoulder, eyes closed or open, totally up to you, but take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Beautiful, bring your head back to center. Hands are gonna reach towards the tops of the knees. Take three cat cow breaths here. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale to round your back, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale to round your back. One more time, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Awesome, and then finding a neutral spine, we're just gonna to start to walk our butt back in our seat. So scoot your butt way back, take your time as you walk yourself back, and then allow a moment or two to just let your body settle in. Let your back find the back of the chair, let your feet find a soft resting place, and then invite that softness back in. The soft resting of the feet on the earth rather than pressing down. The soft resting of your thighs in your chair the soft resting of your back against your seat. Eyes closed or open, totally up to you. But if you're keeping your eyes open, just soften your gaze a little bit. And then allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Maybe see if you can find that awareness again, about two inches inward from the skull bone, right at that occipital ridge, finding that floating up sensation with the breath and the softening with the exhale. Soften your fingers and toes. Soften your jaw and your cheekbones.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Become aware of your feet lightly touching the ground. Become aware of the seat beneath you. If it feels good to do so, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, move your wrists and move your ankles, invite a little gentle movement into the outer edges of your limbs. And then if it feels good, invite some movement maybe into your elbow joints or into your knees and just start to move everything around. And then if it feels really good to do so, take a big good morning stretch like a yawn, stretch your arms up and overhead, stretch your legs out, take a nice big breath back into your body. Awesome. And then when you're ready, float it all back down, walk yourself forward in your seat just so you find your butt nice and firmly planted in your chair, feet nice and solid on the ground. Great. And then we're going to take our hands and stack them right on top of the heart. And we're going to put a little bit of a gentle press of the hands onto the heart. And then once you feel like you've found that gentle press, take a couple of turns of your head gently side to side and see if you can tune in, just noticing that little bit of gentle movement underneath your hands. Take one more turn side to side and then bring it back to center and just a little gentle nod of your head up and down. And again, we just wanna tune in and feel that little bit of gentle movement underneath the hands. Nice, and then the next time your head bows down, pause there for a second, bowing your head to your heart. Take a nice deep breath, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. Take an inhale and as you exhale, soften your shoulders and think about letting go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your day. And gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you.